So, here we are. I'm assuming it's a tagging raid. There's... Uh, it seems suspicious that they're waiting. Um... I'm not sure if they're waiting for something else. Or just what? But, oh, we got another car. I believe probably Trish. And there's another one. Wes is already here. They got a lawnmower type deal. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm kind of nervous as they're going to take stuff, to be honest. So, um, actually, yeah, I'm going to grab something out of my back. I'm like 10. Hey, well, why don't you take this? I'm, tr I'm trying to get Sugar's laundry out of her. Me too. Okay, it does look like a tagging. They uh, got clipboards in the whole bit. Um, so maybe I think we're safe on that. Not a sure though. I guess we'll find out. Today is the 22nd of August, 2012. Morning. Not quite sure why the lawnmower. A little confused on that. Why it just waited around for so long. As soon as there's uh, any kind of complication, I'm going to have to take uh, stuff out. Got clothes, all sorts of stuff. I'm sure almost everybody here does. It's kind of scary when that happens, you know. It's your whole livelihood at risk here, you know. I couldn't even imagine being, you know, homeless and literally having no place to go. You know, if the system was fixed and not the problem, we wouldn't have to fucking be here. The world is a bigger mess than this camp is. You can always refuse unjust orders. It is your human right to refuse something you are ordered to do if you do not feel like it's morally or legally correct. Oh, my screen's too small. It like, zooms in so much. I got another car coming in. You guys can't always refuse unjust orders if you do not feel like this is supposed to be happening. There is a bigger picture going on here. You know, where do you draw that line? You know, do you hope it you hope you draw it before it gets to the concentration camps? You know? I mean really, do you do you draw the line and just hope you see it later? It's a very slippery slope.
Nor would you have to come down here and do this. The system is what's messed up. It's a lot more messed up than this camp is. I'm all right, how are you? Good. Do you need help with housing? Um, no, I'm okay. It's, it's, you know, that, that's okay. I'm actually not homeless. I just, I, you know, this is a movement that I'm trying to... I'm sorry, you Um, no, that's okay. Thank right. you. Though. I'm, I do appreciate you doing that, though. There are definitely a lot of people who need that. So it's uh, good that they are trying to save face, I guess, by sending out IHS workers. You know, it does help a little bit. You know, there are definitely people out here who need it. Um, but they've been here enough times to know that we are not homeless. They're, they're definitely homeless that gravitate towards this camp. Um, so, I mean, it's good that they send them out, but at the same time, you know, it really is only just to save face and to the newspaper and the media to look better on them. City figures are not above the law. Theft is theft. Putting them in crisis to help them? I don't even get the logic in that. There's a whole slew of problems, guys, that this is not one of them. We are worried about such a small little camp and a huge, gigantic mess, a huge landfill that we call the world. We're trying to bring light to so many situations. We are all being stolen from. Literally, you guys, me, everybody that, that we see on a daily basis is getting stolen from. The rich and powerful are stealing. And they give you a tiny little share and say, okay, now you, you're our little bodyguards. We're all being stolen from, and we're worried about a little homeless, you know, a, the way this looks, as if it was a homeless camp, as if a little eyesore is the big problem in the world. You can refuse unjust orders, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Look on the internet. There's a whole wealth of information out there. <laughs> I'm trying not to give any of them a hard time. I just want them to look at the information that's out there. We are all being stolen from. We're all driving our future into, into a ditch. We can take our future back if we would like. It is our decision. It's our future, not theirs. Take it back.
I thought the uh, the signs and stuff were exempt for freedom of speech. I hate how they ignore us. Like we're not even people. Those IHS people are saying they've been out here for months. I'm like, no, I've never seen you. I'm sorry. Where are the IHS people? Uh, the woman in red and the uh, the guy with the shred shirt. Those guys okay. are from IHS. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty familiar. But January, January, January. Who's that dude January. that looks super pissed off over there? That's the dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. He looks really familiar. Yeah. Ba 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 ba. He sort of reminds me of one of my friends. He just has that like, like uh. super stern, old Asian man look. It's sort of like comforting because at least I know what that look is. I'm going to try to talk to you guys. They have cheap housing if you're looking. They told me to tell, tell people. Cheap housing. Hey guys. I would stay in a cheap house and I would still put my bed up. So what about my actions? Yeah, Specifically what? Public forum, we already did that. You're free to go, you're not being arrested. Okay. Are you guys going to go deliver that case number to me? Sugar, so what just happened? So he took down my information uh, because of 
building harassment case. Apparently, my comment about how when she illegally seizes our stuff, we're going to nail her to the wall is in, you know, public forum like we did last time. Or like what happened with Carlisle. she can press charges against me for harassment. So how about the guy who came here last Tuesday that they let go? I don't know. I don't think I said anything that was harassment. I believe it was a statement of our already existing uh, process, and when they illegally raid, we cause enough commotion, the public is on our side, that she gets nailed to the fucking wall. This time, her boss got elected out of office. I think she took it as a physical threat, or, or turned it into the physical threat saying that she felt harassed. Right. That's kind of what I think she did. But really, it's just like, no, politically, you're going to be seen by everybody as, as who you really are. Yeah, that's the best they got. Yeah. Whose phone is this? She's still there. Okay, here you go. The city's theme song. Uh, the IHS workers. I think they're uh, finished tagging down there. I think they're just taking it. Like officers. I'm not sure what this guy is for. Trish, I wish you would invite these people out more often. You guys doing? Gonna go tag those girls over there today, no? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, and whoever's still standing over there, fourteen, at least, fourteen plus, some of them, probably, I see, five. Nineteen, twenty people here. Just a tag. Oh, they're so proud of themselves, I bet. Three more. that was always sleeping in the tents or whatever. I could not shake her face from Trish's. Like, <laughs> she seriously looks like that woman, just maybe a generation later, doing the same exact thing. I remember. I think I found her mother. Probably not chance for now. What? She looks like you does the same shit. Petty thievery. Ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell the difference. You see her and you're like, ugh. <laughs> I feel my stuff getting taken away already. <laughs> right? See, I did. I felt it coming this morning. As soon as they had that lawnmower guy park up here, oh, that yeah. was super oh, yeah. suspicious. I was he just, like, waited. Let's just sleep through the rain.
Yeah, the first ones don't really matter, you know. I just thought they weren't going to play by the rules. For now, of course. <laughs> You're distracting these dogs over here. <laughs> oh, don't be so mean to him. Right? The dog's like, I hear you. I want to see one of the dogs chase after a car in the park. Mm hmm <laughs> Just like, <laughs> look after a cop car, you gotta get that. That'd be so sick. Bum, 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 ba da 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 <laughs> Bye, Trish. Why don't you drive, like, the studio station like that? Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, government official work. They yeah. picked up a shitty car for her. Right? Although I don't see it past her uh, scope of things. She's already got the soccer mom thing going, so. <laughs> uh. You guys later. Have a good one. I have an okay one. <laughs> have a just, just an okay one. <laughs> no, I hope they have a good one. I hope you have a good one, because it probably sucks having to come do this. Yeah, Fascist work sucks. <laughs> Cause they were born to be a fascist <laughs> When the trucks come driving through Oh how I hate to see them in number When the trucks come driving through They're wearing shorts They're wearing shorts? Yeah Who? Oh yeah Capris dog Capris French fashion <laughs> Oh, how I love so to I fight all the fascists! Also, they're also wearing sneakers. <laughs>